Here is Ruli again. Short to Parejo in midfield. Lovely ball round the corner. Plays it out to the right-hand side for the Spurs man, Juan Foyth. He'll drive forward for Villarreal. He's got Chukwesi outside him. Picks him out. Here is Chukwesi. One-on-one -on -one with Xhaka. He's inside the box now. Chukwesi looks to go in between him and Ceballos. And Villarreal have taken an early lead here. It's a goal from Trigueros. And it's taken less than five minutes for Villarreal to open the scoring in this one. Really Really disappointing start from the Gunners. It's the first time Villarreal really have ventured forward. But it was Samuel Chukwesi on the right-hand side. He skipped in between Xhaka and Ceballos. We'll have another look at it now. Oh, I wonder if Paco Alcatha was offside. He wasn't interfering with the game anyway. But he goes inside Xhaka and Ceballos. I think Ceballos probably should do better there. The ball's kind of gone through his legs. It's a really weak attempt at a challenge from Danny Sabas, who would have been, of course, concerned about potentially giving away a penalty. But when the ball fell to Trigueros, he struck it towards the far corner and he's put Villarreal in front. And you can see from Unai Emery's reaction, that goal means the world to him. Villarreal in front here at El Madrigal. Worst possible start for the Gunners. Parejo will deliver this corner into the box from Villarreal. It's a header from close range and it's turned in at the far post. And Villarreal have a second. And it's Raul Albiol. Arsenal two goals down to Villarreal. And we've only been we've not even been playing half an hour here. It's the worst possible start for the Gunners. It was a header, a free header inside the six-yard box. I think it was supposed to be a header towards goal. He's flicked it on towards the far post. And there was Raul Albiol to turn it in from close range. He really couldn't miss. And Arsenal are in trouble now. Good delivery in from Parejo. It's a completely free header on the edge of the six-yard box. Completely free header from Gerard Moreno. It's come off his shoulder. He's not meant that. But at the far post lurking was Raul Albiol, who's the quickest person to react. Thomas Partey doesn't react quick enough to Raul Albiol's run. And there is Albiol to put it into the roof of the net. Arsenal are two goals down at Villarreal. It's the worst possible start for the Gunners. Jeez. A poor one. What has the referee given here? He's showing a second yellow card to Danny Ceballos. And Arsenal are down to 10 men. Arsenal are down to 10 men. I'm not sure what that second yellow card is actually for. He didn't look like he committed a foul to me there. But he's been walking a disciplinary tightrope from the minute he picked up that second yellow card. And Mikel Arteta should have acted on it. Mikel Arteta should have dealt with the situation. Danny Ceballos has been walking a disciplinary fucking tightrope from the minute he picked up that second yellow card. It was a soft foul, if it was even a foul. We haven't seen a replay of it yet. So Bars is obviously fuming about it. Arsenal are fuming about it. But Mikel Arteta had to act on that. The minute he got involved in that incident with Danny Parejo. He steps over the ball, I think, here. And catches Parejo. I think it's harsh to send him off for that. But you, you, you can't make stupid challenges like that. When you're on a yellow card. And Mikel Arteta. You saw that he was on the verge. You saw. You saw. That the minute he picked up that second yellow card. Danny Ceballos was going to be a fucking problem for Arsenal. I said it myself. You cannot have a central midfield player on the park. Who is walking a disciplinary tightrope. And Danny Ceballos has done this to us. In the Europa League. On numerous occasions this season. He's cost us big in this tournament and luckily up until now we've been good enough to get ourselves out of it but we're not going to be good enough to get ourselves out of it tonight looks to go on a little bit of a run into the penalty area goes down the referee's pointing to the spot the referee has pointed to the spot Arsenal have a penalty fingers crossed this one is going to stand but it was Bukayo Saka who picked up the ball he went on a little amazing run inside the penalty area and was just clipped there by a Villarreal player we'll have another look at it yeah, yeah, Trigueros, the goal scorer. Trigueros, the man who opened the scoring for Villarreal tonight, is the man who's just put a leg in. Saka's engineered the contact, I've got to say. 
I've got to say he's left the foot in there, Bukayo Saka. But we'll take it. And fingers crossed, the VAR buys it. Nicola Pepe is going to take the penalty kick for Arsenal. It's Nicola Pepe who's got the ball in his hands. He's placing it down the spot against Geronimo Rulli, the Villarreal goalkeeper. Trigueros is devastated. He feels like he pulled out of the challenge. I have to say, Saka does engineer that contact. He does leave the leg in, but we've had it done against us so many bloody times. And at a moment like this, at a time of desperation, Arsenal could, could, Nicking away goal here. Nicola Pepe had an incredible penalty record during his time in France. Doesn't get much opportunity to take them here. Because of Aubameyang, because of Lacazette. But with neither of the two on the field, the task is Nicolas Pepe's. Can he pull one back for Arsenal and score what could be a huge away goal? It's Nicolas Pepe from the spot. It's a goal. Nicolas Pepe pulls one back. Arsenal are back in this tie. It's an away goal that could prove invaluable. Nicolas Pepe from the spot. It's Villarreal 2, Arsenal 1. Come on. Massive, massive goal that could be in the context of this tie. Nicolas Pepe, cool as a cucumber from the penalty spot after Bakayo Saka... Won the spot kick. He puts it straight down the middle, Nicolas Pepe. Geronimo Rulli dives to his right and leaves his legs hanging and almost, almost cuts it out. But Nicolas Pepe does enough and Nicolas Pepe pulls a goal back to give Arsenal some hope in this tie. Down to 10 men, 2-1 down here at El Madrigal. But, but we have that away goal and that could be huge. That could be massive. 